Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. You're probably wondering why there's nothing right here. <laughs> well, this kind of explains to you guys the state of affairs at Frankie Tech. That's right, guys. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I like to call every every year the purge. <laughs> and the purge, if you guys uh, know that what the meaning of that word is, it's basically uh, the kind of removal, the the elimination. <laughs> and uh, generally, uh, this time of year when I do go to the states, I kind of offload a lot of the phones that I've been testing, or you know, some other things that I've been using, and pretty much kind of do a reset and kind of get ready for the next, uh, you know, when I return. And so this is kind of one of those moments in my the history of my channel where I have done a purge of a lot of the devices I was reviewing. As you guys know, I sometimes review re re review devices and bring them back. But I wanted to show you guys because there are three phones, three phones that I did keep and that I will keep kind of longer term because just because of how, uh, the influence that they had on my channel and also because they are the three favorite phones that I have reviewed so far in my channel. So let's just kind of go down the list here in no particular order. We'll put them all three down here and let's see which are the three phones that survived my purge of 2018. And then finally explain which phones didn't survive and there's gonna be one in particular that I'm gonna explain why I actually returned that particular phone. Let's have a look. So the first phone that survived Frankie's Purge is this phone right here. Let's see if you can guess it. Boom. <laughs> the Mi Max 3. Now if you guys remember from the earlier parts of my channel, I was reviewing the Mi 8 for a while, but it was really until I reviewed the Mi Max 3 that you guys really responded to my channel. I think this phone was just at the perfect moment, the perfect time, and honestly, I have a lot to thank the Mi Max 3 for because this is really the perfect big budget uh, phone big size budget phone on the market to this day. You've had your Honor Note 10s, you've had your 8X Maxes, you have all these other phones that have come out, but there's nothing else that still kind of rivals the feeling, the just kind of general performance, and just for the price, the overall stability of the Mi Max 3. So that is the first phone right here that survived this. And battery life obviously is unquestionably probably the best battery life of any phone in 2018. So the Mi Max 3 is the first survivor of my purge. <laughs> the second phone on the list, let's see if you guys can guess it. Which one do you think it is? Ooh yeah. <laughs> That's right guys, it is the Mi A2. And the reason why I kept this Mi A2, and it's probably kind of the least favorite of the three phones that I have, but it is the one phone that I'd say from a software perspective, I have loved the most. I just absolutely, um, Android One on this phone has been just incredible. And yes, it is a Snapdragon 660, and yes, it's maybe not to the level of the Pocophone in terms of performance, but I tell you guys, I still love this phone, and I love the feel of it. And I know the battery life hasn't been great, but when it, you know what, like when it comes to just day-to-day -day use, picking up a phone and just kind of checking my Google Now cards, checking, you know, my stuff, as you can see right here, there you go. <laughs> There's my flight to Boston at 6.15, guys, so I'm doing these videos last minute here. But if you see here, guys, like the stock Android experience of the Mi A2 is what I have loved the most. And honestly, I will not be surprised if this is one of the best performing phones for Xiaomi in 2018. It is just great. And the fact that I got was able to get the red color here on this phone was just the icing on the cake. I love the Mi A2, and for that reason, it is the second phone that has survived my great purge of 2018. <laughs> Last but not least, and this is the third phone and the final phone that I have kept of the phones that I previously reviewed, previously reviewed on the list. I think it's no surprise to you guys. That's right guys, Pocophone F1. This phone was a game changer. And I think beyond all of these phones right here, the Pocophone <clears throat> is by far probably my favorite phone of 2018 from Xiaomi and maybe from any manufacturer. I will love, <laughs> I would love for my iPhone XS Max to arrive later today so that I can do a, an actual comparison between the Pogophone. Now, between these three phones, there's one phone that I'm gonna be bringing along with my hopefully new iPhone on this trip, 
and that is this phone right here, the Pocophone F1. I just love this phone so much, and it's just the overall performance, just kind of like going in and out of apps. As you know, it is just one of those things that you just have to kind of, once you experience it, you kind of can't go back. And I just find myself going back to this phone all the time, um, and you know, kind of to the level of the uh, Mi A2, but I think I go back to Pocophone even more. It's in my pocket every day. I use it pretty much every day. And uh, the battery life is incredible. The camera, as you saw, as it documented the Typhoon, was really great. So that is the third phone on the list right there of the phones that survived the purge. And let me know in the comments section, what do you guys think? And if you thought <laughs> that there was another phone that would have survived alongside these three, but these are the three th phones that I pretty much have left and we are kind of resetting the channel here. So when I return, I'm gonna have a lot of new phones coming. But now just quickly wanted to talk about the phones that aren't here. <laughs> and you probably are wondering, you know, like, why did I make this decision or which phones uh, that you thought might have been here weren't here? Why were the, what were the reasons? Well, let me kind of go down the list here because there were some honorable mentions that almost made the cut but ultimately did not and were pretty much sacrificed to the, to the gods, let's just say. <laughs> and so uh, the first one on the list that I was thinking of was the Honor Note 10. The Honor Note 10 was a really awesome phone. I enjoyed my time with it greatly. And you know what, when it came time to selecting between the Honor Note 10 and the Mi Max 3, it really came down to price. The Honor Note 10 is just a lot more expensive and you know, for my needs and for my general needs, the Mi Max 3 pretty much covers that big phone experience uh, in a much better way. So nothing against the Honor Note 10, but that was the reason why that phone uh, got the heave ho. The other phone that you don't see here probably anymore was the Mi A2 Lite. The Mi A2 Lite I just was never really a fan of and I've definitely recommended for a lot of you guys in the comments there if you were going for the Mi A2 Lite to consider other options like the Redmi Note 5 which I also got rid of but like for example the Mi A2 or if you kind of can add you know get a little bit more money and get the Mi Max 3 I think you were better served by a newer Snapdragon 636 processor and just kind of a better overall experience. Nothing against the Mi A2 Lite. I think, still think for the casual user, it is a great phone, but the performance of these phones is just so much better now that it's hard for me to recommend a Snapdragon 625 processor in this day and age. So that was the Mi A2 Lite, and that's why it got the heave-ho. And uh, one last phone that I'm gonna kind of talk about here, and you're probably, uh, you probably can tell already because you guys were probably waiting in anticipation and this kind of segues into the next section of this, and it's the last phone that I got rid of, and that was the Honor 8X Max. <laughs> and you guys are probably surprised, like thinking like, how could you do that? Like how, how did you get rid of the Honor 8X Max so quickly? Well guys, uh, I have some news to share with you guys. Uh, the Honor 8X Max was a terrible phone. <laughs> I think maybe you noticed it from my coverage, from my experiences, but it was a terrible, terrible phone. And I honestly tell you guys that I immediately, upon buying it after a few days, wish I had actually purchased the Honor 8X instead. I think I kind of jumped the gun a little bit and went a little bit too big on the Honor 8X Max. So the size was already something that I wasn't a huge fan of. But let me show you a photo of the major reason why I got rid of the Honor 8X Max. And you see it right here. I took these photos specifically for you guys to see and for your questioning why I got rid of it. I'm gonna stop the motion there. Look at the light bleed on this thing. That was the day that I returned it. The light bleed on this phone was horrendous. And it was only after I kind of started doing the light bleed test on this Pocophone F1 that I actually compared the light bleed on the Honor 8X Max. And that was really a major deal breaker. The other deal breaker I'll mention guys, and I wish I'd actually captured a screenshot of this, but I actually wanted to do a gaming review between the Mi Max 3 and the Honor 8X Max. Well, guess what? I couldn't download any single game with the Play Store. Now, if you guys know, I had some issues actually downloading uh, the games from the Play Store on the 8X Max, or just even downloading the Play Store in general. Well, it, when it came to downloading Asphalt 9, Tech and Mobile, even PUBG, none of the games would download from the 
apps from the Play Store. And even trying to find them in other ways, it was just such a headache. The light bleed issues were so terrible and the phone just was not, and the micro USB, I know you guys all said deal breaker was a micro USB. The charging on that phone was taking forever. <laughs> and I immediately thought like Honor pretty much undercut the, uh, the Mi Max 3, but at what expense? Like, why didn't they, you know, put a little bit more effort and get a USB-C, uh, you know, charger, a uh, connector in their phone? <clears throat> why didn't they do that? That was such a stupid move. And I honestly, it cost them because I was just so down on that phone that I pretty much then decided that's it. Like, I'm returning this phone. I don't care about the views, guys. I don't care about that. I care about good experiences. And if I'm not having a good experience on a phone, uh, I'm gonna just return it because I just, I can't recommend that phone. And I honestly wish when I return, if I am able to get the Honor 8X, it may be a little bit old at that point, but you know what? I definitely want to kind of check that one out because that's got a Snapdragon 710 processor. It's a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit more manageable, but honestly, it was a real letdown, the 8X, and that's why I had to return it. So explaining to you guys here why that happened. And for any of you guys who were then wondering, what do I do? What do I get? Dude, you have your answer. It's the Mi Max 3. It is the best budget uh, big phone still to this day. And that's pretty much, that's the end of the line there. Like I can't really recommend anything beyond the Mi Max 3 if you want a big budget phone for 250, 300 bucks. So that's the end of the video, guys. This one is uh, gonna be quick, so uh, hit me up in the comments there what you guys think of the three phones that I pretty much selected here My after my purge, as I like to call it, uh, which is basically offloading all the phones that I'm just not using anymore. Uh, let me know if you like this lineup or which phone would you have replaced, which one of those three would you have gotten rid of and maybe replaced with one of the other phones. Hit me up in the comments. If you like this video, give me that quick thumbs up there. Uh, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon, guys, for future updates. So like I said, I'm leaving to Boston this evening. <laughs> so I will be having limited videos moving forward, but I hopefully will get some interesting content out to you guys while I'm in Boston. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet, but stay tuned for some interesting content while I'm in the States. I appreciate all the support, guys. We're just very close to 10,000 subs right now. So if this happens while I'm out, guys, thank you so, so much. You have no idea what that means to me. And yeah, guys, stay tuned. So this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Y'all have a good one.